All right, so we got one of these type of stories. Yeah, about some dumb bitch. So let's talk about this. This happened like one or two months ago. It's happened. Well, we, me, and her, were talking for like a long time. We were talking for like months. We see each other like at least three times. When she has, she has a chance to, to see me. You know. And we're actually we're having a great time with each other. Then she went on like vacation, and then she started acting fucking shady. And I knew that she was up to something because the way she was acting, she acted all different with me. She started texting me last. I knew it. I fucking knew that something was up with her. Then I found out on her, on her Facebook because before it says single, all of a sudden it says in a relationship with this guy. Who suddenly looks like the Mole Man from The Simpsons. And that confuses me because she's very attractive. But she dated the guy for five years. And then she then decides not to date me and go back with him. I was like, what the fuck is so special about this guy? Like, the dude looks like Hans Molman. And she's like, she had sex with him. She did all this stuff with him. And I'm like... What? And she's like 28 years old and this dude like he's like 60. I looked him up on, on fucking Facebook. I was like shocked the way he looked. I was like, he looks like Hans Molman. And he looked like he has Down syndrome and shit. I'm like, there's no fucking way. There's no way this girl went f- to him of all people. I'm like, I'm way better looking than him. And I'm like way taller than him too. And she's like six feet tall. She's like around my height and shit. I'm like 6'4". Like, what the fuck is wrong with these women, man? That they date these type of guys. Dude's like Hans Bowman from the fucking Simpsons. I was like, I was like fucking, I wasn't pissed. I was like shocked by it. I usually, I would get fucking mad about shit like that. But no, I wasn't mad. I was fucking shocked. Because it all happened because, uh, let me explain again the story. So... Like I said, like months ago, uh, me and her talking, we're having a good time with each other. We we like each other. She was like crazy about me, and everything like that. She she misses me when, when she was on her vacation. And then when she came back from vacation, she acted like fucking shady as hell. She acted different. I was asking her like, well, when are we gonna hang out the next time? And asking all this other stuff. She's making excuses, saying that she has to like take her fucking kids somewhere yeah she has like a like a four-year-old kid which i had no problem with that we i had no problem with having a four-year-old kid I, I had no problem with that at all and she was telling me that she gotta find a new school for her four-year-old daughter and she gotta find another job she could pay for her, her car because she got an accident one time and all this other stuff and i understand but she was actually making excuses because she was seeing this guy again the guy she was with for five years, which, like I said, I still can't get that wrap around my head. She had sex with this guy who was like Hans Molman for five years. How the hell do you sleep with that guy in your bed for five years? Look like Hans Molman. Yeah, she make all these fucking stories. Though. All of a sudden, she go on vacation again for another ten days to go somewhere else. I'm like, again with vacation? She was like, well, this time, well, this time is with my family because the last time was with my friends. This fucking dumb bimbo. All because she wanted to go hang out with Hans Molman and fuck him more. Like, like I said, she was like a mad shady. She was like saying this, making excuses. I asked her questions like, are you seeing somebody else? And she was like lying about it. I said, well, I'm not going to keep being honest with you. I'm not seeing anybody else. I think we should see other people because I'm getting really tired of you acting like this. Making all this fucking bullshit lies and everything. And I ended up looking online about it. I was like, oh, yeah, okay, there you go. So she was fucking lying out her ass. And she's Christian. She's one of those uh, quote-unquote Christian people. Yep, one of those quote-unquote Christian people. I don't get what makes her so Christian if she does shit like that. I, I don't get these so-called Christian people that they do stuff like that. Because that's not Christian. Christians don't do stuff like that. They don't fuck people over and lie. You can go to hell for being Christian and lying to people and shit. Do they realize that? If you're Christian and you, you lie and stuff, you can go, you're going straight to hell? Well, I guess you don't give a fuck, I guess. 
<sighs> I'm gonna get tired of these fucking fake ass Christians and lying bullshit. Cause all they do is just fucking lie. <laughs> yeah, that ain't the first time I I got to know a fucking Christian person, a so called Christian. It ain't the first time. Did someone pull the same shit again like the other one? Same thing. They lie about it, and they act. They don't. They don't act Christian. No, the people I talk to, they don't act Christian. They they uh, cuss and swear. They say a bunch of all this other shit. They do a lot of fucked up things to be a, a Christian. I, I I never get that at all. I never get it. But anyway, let's go back. Like I said with this girl. Uh, yeah, this girl's like she's like really like cuckoo for cocoa puffs or something. She's like crazy as shit. You like she wasted my whole time seeing those three times, and me and her did actually make out with each other. We both like made out with each other and shit. I did all that. She fucking sent me all these fucking new pictures and shit. Yeah, she sent me like a couple of naked pictures of herself, telling me that she's like very interested in me and everything like that. But then again, after the like the vacation, she came uninterested in me, and she didn't want to fucking see me anymore. All because, oh, uh, Hans Molman fucking begged her to come back to her. Please come back to me. I'll do anything you want. Please come back to me. Please don't leave for that big black man. And she fucking fell for it. These fucking women. Like, <laughs> why, waste, why waste a guy's time for all those months and you can't just tell him the truth, what's going on? The only one I want is to fucking blow smoke out of their ass and lie about it. That's like the sad part about it. Oh, Hans Molman is a better guy than uh, than me. Hans Molman is better looking than me and everything, I guess. Whatever. 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 Hans Molman is the most attractive man in the world, I guess. Like, imagine attractive woman fucking Hans Molman. Like, imagine that in your head. Like, a really sexy woman like her fucking Hans Molman. Think that in your head. Think really hard about that. Especially he's like a real-life version of Hans Molman. It's pretty fucking gross, isn't it? Five years she's been fucking that, and now she's back with him again. Like I said, why waste my time? <sighs>